Welcome to Hongdae! <laughs> Tuesday afternoon ever. I'm like enjoying myself in this glorious sun. I'm at a brewery in Hongdae called Craft Hans and I'm enjoying a non-alcoholic beverage. This is not sponsored. Really good. Hongdae is one of those areas that are like the most popular, most well-known in Seoul, usually a first stop for foreigners when they come to Korea for the first time. Hongdae is named after Hongik University. The university was founded in 1946 as a school for the arts and it has become one of the most prestigious art schools in Korea. Real proper change in Hongdae started to appear in the 1980s and in 1984 the subway line 2 was built and Hongdae became a commercial district. At the time the rents here were super 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 low, so that made it perfect for students with not much money to reside in the area and have their own art studios here too. Back in the day, Hongdae had like a really unique feel due to the indie music scene, the art scene, all the creatives used to live here. Nowadays, it's become a lot more commercialized, more mainstream, but Hongdae still is known for the playground for the youth, the MZ generation. The nearby Shincheon, which is also a university area, that used to be the spot for live music, but in the 1990s, they all started to get rid of the live clubs, and so that culture kind of migrated to Hongdae. I guess it's still known for like the indie music scene and you will find more up-and-coming artists more here than anywhere else and like if you go past Hongdae playground you'll see always people busking there. But since Hongdae has become more and more gentrified over the years, there are concerns that Hongdae is losing its culture and identity. So although all the new tourism and all the new money coming into the area is a good thing, it's pushing all the old shop owners out. There is a Kaldusu place called Dudiban, which I went to. So this place that I'm in right now is called Dudiban, and this is actually a place of cultural significance. <laughs> when gentrification took place in 2009, they were going to kick the owners of this restaurant out, but they fought hard to keep this place. They actually fought for 531 days but they were successful in court they negotiated 250 million won in compensation and they continued operation of this restaurant so this is actually very historical they sell kalguksu which is korean noodles posam uh, and like mandu dumplings so i thought it would be nice to come here for lunch great while I was researching for this video, I read that Hongdae back in the 90s, it catered more for a male audience. So it was a lot of rock, punk, hip hop, and the art was more geared towards men. Whereas these days, especially around this nearby Yeongnam dorm, it caters a lot more to a female demographic. There must be at least like a hundred very pretty cafes in this nearby area to draw the female crowd in. Camellia, this is a new place. They turned like an old style house into a restaurant. It looks so cute. Okay, I'm late, so let's go in. I'm making a video today about Hongdae, Hongdae. Okay, so guys, my whole entire fit today is from Nalva, which is the online store I created. This top, I have this ear cuff, and this jacket that's reversible, and these white jeans. Yes. <laughs> Tatsuka and basil. basil pasta. Truffle, yeah. How is it? It's good. <laughs> what is your favorite place in Hongdae or Yeongnam? Mm. For the best coffee in Seoul, you need to go to a coffee shop at Yeongnam Dong called Cafe Libre. It's been repeatedly voted as like the best coffee shop by baristas and they do like hand drip coffee, cold brew, oat latte, whichever they like. And next to that shop, there is like a little artisan bakery where they only bake Portugal and types. Yes. Let's go. We're walking to dessert now. They convert these like old houses into businesses. I think it's really pretty. This is like Yeonnam, typical. <laughs> so the dessert place called High in the Shop. <gasps> wow. <laughs> and the thing with Korean cafes, they know how to attract females. You see that flower photo wall? That's what the girls will come for. Wow! 
Oh my god, it's so Pinterest vibes. I love anything fruity. Mm. Strawberry cake, you can't go wrong. Mm. By mm. Try the apple. Mm. Apple sour cream. Mmm. Okay. Mm. Not that sour, it's sweet. Mm. Mm. Wow, you could so much in there. I'm shocked at this pie. Oh. No one's listening. <laughs> the crust is way, way different to like other pies that I've tried in Korea. That's like legit. That's good, right? I'm so impressed. What? The crust is super like thick. <laughs> oh, the is moist, but it's like just about right amount of sweet. It doesn't like crumble apart completely. Yeah. It's really good. Recommend, recommend. Mm. This is like Yontro Park. It kind of reminds me of the High Line in New York, like a residential park in the middle of the city. So the history is that this used to be like a literal railroad, yeah. and then some government regime wanted to have some greenery in Seoul, like mm. Central Park and whatever. Mm. So now they converted it into a park and then put the subway underground. Yes. So this is like the longest park in like Seoul, basically, oh. and it's really narrow and just long. That's what she said. <laughs> narrow and long. Ew, no. Oh, that's no, not no, what no, you no, want. No, no. <laughs> 안녕. Also the 2002 World Cup brought in many many new worldwide visitors to the area and obviously when they came and visited they started to frequent all the clubs in this area so that's how Hongdae became known for its club scene I personally find that I can't party in Hongdae anymore it is generally more geared towards the younger crowd, university students and such you might get turned away if you're over 30 and don't take it offensively but that's just how it is generally here I thought Hongdae is like one of the most foreigner friendly places but actually I had an experience not too long ago I was with my friend Bella and she's from Miranda and we got turned away from a hip-hop club here's that footage so Bella what just happened so we're in Hongdae can those, I save you those it's a hip-hop club and then we're standing in the line and then these people are like there was an incident with another foreign girl so we don't allow foreigners in here anymore he thought I was a foreigner too you are foreigner yeah. yeah and then he's like we don't allow foreigners in here too like yeah. what the fuck this is Hongdae you, you don't this expect this from Hongdae exactly this is the cheapest shit you can find obviously as a Korean I I have never experienced this unless I'm with my other foreigner friends but I'm just warning you that it is a possibility if you want food recommendations walk out of exit 9 at Hongdae station and there's like the whole street full of things to eat and drink and Hongdae is also known for shopping so many accessories clothing shops you'll never run out of stuff to do in this area basically there's so many photo studios now oh my god that's like an essential Korean thing to do now if you're visiting Korea there's a photo booth on like every single half block Thank you. Do the curtains. I've not done this by myself, so this is what it looks like, you guys. This is very extremely Korean. Just get a normal screen, full screenshot. I think I'll just do without the remote, just automatic. I'm gonna do card. Oh, I'm gonna do four. Okay, do one. You definitely didn't have this in London, man. Um, this one. I don't really like it. <laughs> oh. oh no, can I go back? I don't like this one. I thought I was choosing four. I was completely mistaken. <laughs> oh my. There's no way to go back. This is actually crazy. I got four pictures for no reason. I also come to the nearby Sangsu area for my lashes. I've been going to the same lady for the past year or so. She does my lashes the best, how I like them. It's called Turao. She's the best. If I'm in Hongdae, not the club, then I love walking around Yeonnamdong. One of the best restaurant recommendations I can give you around this area is Tuk Tuk Noodle Thai. It's been on the Michelin Woman Bib Guide for several, several years. It's genuinely one of the best Thai food I've had ever. So go check it out. It's always super, super busy, but it's so tasty. There are so many attractions around here if you want to get tattoo if you want to get piercings
go to an exhibition, museum, you will just not be bored in Hongdae. And also, Hongdae has quite a big LGBTQ scene. A lot of lesbians in Hongdae, I've heard. And actually, when I was out with Bella the other night, she got chatted up by loads of girls. And they actually told us, like, I'm lesbian. So that's also something interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed me wandering around, showing you some spots here in Hongdae. I will be back with more neighborhood videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.